Hey, what's going on, guys? I hope everybody's safe and things are going well. I got a little story at the end, but I'll save it for the end if you're still around. So um, in my last video, I showed how to create city pages for um, areas that you want to rank outside your immediate area. Uh, as you know, I live in Tampa, so showing the Tampa area here in red, you will notice that I have that circled. Uh, I have that circled in red there. And uh, I also want to rank in Palmetto Beach. I want to I want to rank in uh, historic Ybor City, Hyde Park and Old West Tampa. Now, if you create these city pages, it's not automatic that you're going to rank in the three pack for these cities. Why is that? OK, there's two things in SEO. There's something called on page SEO and there's something called off page SEO. On page SEO, I'm going to say is probably about 80 percent. Of, of of SEO, meaning everything that you do on your page, setting your page up correctly, letting Google know what um, what you're trying to rank for is is 80 percent of SEO. Let me put that another way. Google doesn't care what you're trying to rank for. Google cares when a client is doing a search, for example, uh, uh, automotive lockout service in Old West Tampa, that your information is the best information for that search. All right. So when you have that content on your website, that shows Google um, that you are the leader in that content. Right. However, sometimes just having content on your page is not enough and we need to boost it. So that's when you do what's called off page optimization. That's where you get backlinks and you point them to that particular page to increase the ranking. Now, what I'm going to show you today is we want to get relevant backlinks in that particular city to show Google that we have some presence in Old West Tampa or we have some presence in Ybor City. Yeah, we uh, we have a page on Ybor City and we have a page in Old West Tampa, but sometimes that's just not enough. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do what's called off page optimization. We're going to show Google that not only do we have the content on our page, but we also have um, we also have a presence in these cities. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Guys, uh, if you haven't contributed, if you're able to contribute, that would be great. Um, you know, I was creating this course um, prior to this coronavirus. I was creating this course as a uh, paid course. I decided to give the whole course away for free. And um, I'm just asking for a, a, a small contribution. Uh, it's right, here, right up here on the screen. And if you could contribute, great. If you can't, please share it on your social media and maybe you could turn it on to one of your friends, uh, maybe turn turn one of your friends on to our videos and, and maybe they'll contribute or they'll uh, uh, send it, send it on their social media also. So no pressure, no worries. Uh, if you can't can't do it at this time, I realize a lot of people are out of work and, you know, money's not coming in for some people. And, and I understand that. And uh, you're not pressured to to contribute. But if you do have the, uh, you know, two ninety nine, two dollars and ninety nine cents and you can contribute. I accept uh, credit cards or have a PayPal link also, but uh, once again, no pressure. Just uh, uh, just do what you could afford. All right. So let's uh, move on to the next section and I'll show you how to create a presence in these cities. So if you're trying to establish presence in other cities besides small cities, besides the city that you're located in, you want links on websites located in those cities. So we use the uh, example before of Old West Tampa. I think that's the one we used. OK, Old West Tampa. We're trying to we created a page, Old West Tampa, and that, how to create the pages in the last lesson in lesson five. You already have the page, but now you need to boost it up. So you need local links in that area on other people's websites. And you're like, how am I going to go about and do that? Well, uh, there are conferences that are being held in Old West Tampa. 
there are and were. You could still get links on the pages, even though the conference has uh, happened in 2018 or 2019. There are local directories. There are blog websites in that area. There are, um, there are donation sites in that area. I'm going to show you how to get your link on there. Now, the method is exactly the same whether you're trying to get your link on a blog page or you're trying to let, get your link on a local conference or events page or a donation page or, you know, with a, a directory page. The, the process is exactly the same. So if you go over to mindsaw.com slash YouTube sheets, I have a whole list of conferences and directories and uh, donations and so on and so forth. So you just donate, you just uh, download the list, uh, you chop it up, you give it to each family member, you tell them to do a Google search, you put in the city name, which is uh, Old West Tampa or whatever you or wherever you live, then you use the plus sign, and then you just copy the rest, in title, semicolon, conference. That's the first one that we're using as an example. And then when you do the search, well, I'll show you what happens when you do the search. Using the example Old West Tampa plus in title semicolon conference, when you Google that, you'll notice a listing come up of a bunch of events happening in that area. Okay, I'm not saying this isn't tedious. I'm saying that you'll click the link. For example, here's Toastmasters 2020, and you're going to see how you can add your link to this page. Okay, sometimes it's on the bottom here. Sometimes you could add an event, right? Uh, sometimes you could just make a comment here. Like I told you, <laughs> you know, it is a bit tedious. However, um, However, it's very useful because it's showing Google that you have presence in that area. Okay, here's another example. So this is uh, websites that you could add your business to. So I already have Old West Tampa already loaded. Look at that. This way I don't waste your time. You don't hear my fingers pound, pouncing on the uh, keyboard. Right. OK, so what's this Old West Tampa, St. Pete neighborhood information? OK, I'm going to click this. I may have some neighbor information, neighborhood information. Right. And I'll see where I could add my link if there's somewhere on this page where I could add my link. OK, here's a place to register. I would have never thought to register at St. Petersburg .com. I register and then I'm sure there's a place to put my link. Like I told you, um, it's a bit tedious, so you could do one of two things. You could do it yourself. It's a good way of getting away from your family for the day. It just uh, sit there and go one by one. Like I said, when you go to Mindsaw YouTube Sheets, you will see the whole list of different uh, places you could add your website. Uh, it's a good thing to do for the day. Or if you'd like, you could give it to your family members or people that are out of work, see if they could help you. Or you could go over to a, a website like Upwork and uh, hire a contractor for uh, two or three days and give them the assignments. This is going to help you increase your ranking in the Google three pack, right? So if you're doing a, uh, if you're trying to get in the Google three pack, which is here, if you're trying to get your business in the Google three pack slightly out of your area, maybe eight to 10 miles, this is greatly going to help because you're showing that you have a presence not only on your website, but also off your website. Um, I haven't really seen it work too further out than eight to 10 miles. So uh, in the comment section, just let me know how it worked out for you. You know, it should take a couple of days for the links to be submitted and get indexed and then uh, let's see if it starts to raise your rankings. I haven't done a video in a couple of days. To be honest with you, I don't know whether it's day or night or night or day and 
the days are just going by so quick. So I got to really catch up on the videos because I promised to get 30 out. So uh, I'm going to try to do more than one per day. But uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody. And I hope my these lessons are helping you guys at least even a little bit. If nothing else, they're entertaining you. And uh, hopefully they are taking your mind off things and keeping your mind on business. And uh, when we get out of this, you will have your business on the top of the Google 3-pack. And, uh, you know, while the other, the other business owners are uh, not, not marketing, not thinking about this biz their business, you are, and uh, you're doing great. So keep up the great work, and we'll see you later on. Thanks.